Welcome back, history enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of Historic Sites. On this episode, we embark on a journey to explore the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, an exquisite treasure tucked away in the charming state of Oregon. So, get ready with your virtual hiking boots as we uncover the captivating stories of ancient history preserved within the bountiful lands abundant with fossils. The John Day Fossil Beds National Monument is named after the John Day River, which flows through the area. This unique landscape is divided into three units, the Sheep Rock, Painted Hills, and Clarno units. Each unit offers a different glimpse into the past, with its own distinct geological features and fossil records. Let's start our journey at the Sheep Rock unit, known for its towering cliffs and diverse fossil collections. This unit is home to the Thomas Condon Paleontology Center, where visitors can learn about the ancient plants and animals that once roamed this area. One of the most fascinating exhibits at the center is the complete skeleton of a prehistoric horse known as the Eohippus. This small horse-like creature lived over 50 million years ago and is considered one of the earliest ancestors of modern horses. The Sheep Rock Unit is a fascinating geological treasure trove, showcasing a stunning array of colors on its hillsides. These impressive hues are not merely a product of chance, but rather the result of a complex interplay of geological processes that have unfolded over vast spans of time. Millions of years ago, when the Sheep Rock Unit was engulfed by ancient seas and lakes, sediments began to accumulate at the bottom. Layers upon layers of sand, silt, clay, and organic matter slowly settled, gradually forming stratified rock formations. Over time, the weight of accumulating sediments compressed the lower layers, transforming them into various types of solid rock. The vibrant colors that captivate visitors today are due to the different types of minerals and sediments present in these rocks. The intense reds, oranges, yellows, purples, and blues are a result of the various chemical compounds found in the sediments. For example, iron oxide imparts a striking red hue, while magnesium can contribute shades of purple or pink. While the exact composition of the sediments can differ from location to location within the sheep rock unit, a general pattern emerges. The lower portions of the hillsides are often dominated by darker colored rocks, such as shales, mudstones, and siltstones, which contain a higher concentration of organic materials. These organic materials, such as decomposed plant matter, can contribute to the darker hues. As one ascends the hillsides, the color palette begins to change. Lighter colored rocks, such as sandstones and limestone, come into view, showcasing creams, yellows, and oranges. These rocks often contain a higher proportion of quartz or silica, giving them their distinctive hues. The Sheep Rock unit's colorful layers of rock are not only visually stunning, but also provide scientists with valuable insights into past environments and geological history. By studying the composition and characteristics of the various rock layers, Geologists can decipher information about ancient climates, the presence of bodies of water, and even the evolution of life forms. Our next stop takes us to the Painted Hills Unit, a mesmerizing landscape that looks like it's been painted by an artist's brush. The hills get their vibrant colors from layers of volcanic ash, clay, and oxidized iron minerals. The Painted Hills, located in Wheeler County, Oregon, are renowned for their breathtaking natural beauty. These hills boast dramatic formations, showcasing varying shades of red, yellow, black, and tan. The striking colors are a result of different mineral composition within the soil, which has been exposed due to years of erosion. As a result, the hills have an ethereal, otherworldly appearance that attracts many visitors. However, there is more to the painted hills than just their aesthetic appeal. Scientists have found that this region is a treasure trove of fossilized plant material, which provides valuable information about the area's ancient climate and vegetation. These fossils offer a window into the past and help experts understand how the landscape has evolved over time. The fossilized plant material found in the Painted Hills includes leaves, seeds, and even flowers. These fossils, dating back millions of years, have been preserved remarkably well in the sedimentary rock formations. They provide evidence of the plant species that once thrived in this area, helping scientists reconstruct ancient ecosystems and understand how they were influenced by climatic changes. By studying these fossils, researchers have gained insights into the region's past climate patterns. They can analyze the types of plants that existed and determine whether they were adapted to wet or dry conditions. 
This information helps scientists understand how the climate fluctuated over time and how the vegetation responded to these changes. The fossilized plant material also provides valuable evidence about the biodiversity of the region. By studying the different types of plant fossils, scientists can determine the variety of plant species that once existed in the Painted Hills area. This information is crucial for understanding the evolutionary history of plants and how different species interacted with one another in the past. Additionally, the discovery of fossilized flowers in the Painted Hills is of particular significance. Flowers are delicate structures that rarely fossilize, making such finds extremely rare and valuable. These fossilized flowers offer insights into the evolutionary history of flowering plants and the development of different floral features over millions of years. The Painted Hills fossils are not only of scientific interest, but also have educational and cultural significance. They help deepen our understanding of the ancient landscapes and environments that existed in this region long before humans arrived. The fossils also highlight the importance of conservation efforts to preserve these fossil-rich sites for future generations. Our final destination is the Clarno Unit, where towering rock formations dominate the landscape. These towering cliffs were once part of an ancient volcano that erupted over 40 million years ago. As you hike through the Clarno Unit, you may come across fossilized remains of ancient mammals, including early relatives of elephants and rhinoceroses. These fossils offer a glimpse into the diverse ecosystems that existed in this area long before humans walked the Earth. Now, let's dive into some little-known facts and myths about the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. Myth. Did dinosaurs once roam the lands of the John Day Fossil Beds? While it's true that dinosaurs once roamed the Earth, the fossils found in this area are primarily from the Cenozoic Era, which occurred after the extinction of the dinosaurs. So, unfortunately, you won't find any T. rex or Triceratops fossils here. Fact: The John Day fossil beds are home to a wide variety of ancient plants. Fossilized leaves, seeds, and flowers have been discovered, providing valuable information about the region's past vegetation. Some of these plants are even related to modern-day species, giving us a glimpse into the evolution of plant life over millions of years. Fact. The fossil record at the John Day fossil beds includes a diverse range of ancient mammals. From early relatives of elephants and rhinoceroses to small rodents and carnivores, these fossils paint a picture of the rich biodiversity that once thrived in this area. Fact: Paleontologists have been studying the fossils at the John Day fossil beds for over a century. Their discoveries have not only expanded our knowledge of ancient life, but also helped us understand how ecosystems have changed over time. The ongoing research in this area continues to uncover new insights into Earth's history. Fact: The John Day Fossil Beds National Monument offers a range of hiking trails for visitors to explore. From easy strolls to more challenging hikes, there's something for everyone. So, lace up your boots and embark on an adventure through time. From the vibrant colors of the painted hills to the towering cliffs of the Clarno Unit, this place is a testament to the ever-changing nature of our planet. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Historic Sites if you learned anything today. Until next time, stay curious, my friends.